if you suspect that your vehicle has a bad evap canister vent valve. So in this video, let's break down what this part does, what symptoms to look for, and how to troubleshoot it. What is an evap canister vent valve? The evap system, short for evaporative emissions control system, is designed to capture fuel vapors from the gas tank and route them back into the engine to be burned, helping reduce pollution and meet emission standards. A key component in this system is the canister vent valve, which is a small solenoid controlled by the vehicle's computer. Its job is to open and close to allow outside air in or out of the evap system. How the system works. A hose runs from the gas tank to the charcoal canister, which acts as a storage unit for gas vapors. The evap canister vent valve is typically located on the charcoal canister, although in some cases, it might be separate. From the charcoal canister, another hose runs up to the engine, where you'll find the purge valve. When the engine is running, the purge valve opens, allowing fuel vapors to enter the intake system and be burned during combustion. When the engine is off, the purge valve closes, preventing vapors from escaping. The vent valve works hand in hand with the purge valve to maintain proper pressure and flow in the system. Before we dive into the symptoms, it's important to not mix up the purge valve with the vent valve. They serve different purposes and are located in different areas of the vehicle. The purge valve is typically found on top of the engine, while the vent valve is usually located underneath the vehicle, often mounted right on or near the charcoal canister. Knowing the difference helps a lot when you're diagnosing or replacing components. Common symptoms of a bad evap vent valve. Now let's talk about what happens when the vent valve starts to fail. Check engine light. One of the most common signs is the check engine light turning on. The onboard computer detects an issue with the evap system and logs a fault code. Gas smell inside or around the vehicle. If the vent valve gets stuck open, fuel vapors can leak out instead of being directed back into the engine. This can lead to a noticeable gasoline smell, especially near the rear of the car or even inside the cabin. Fuel pump clicking off while refueling. When the vent valve is stuck closed or clogged, the system can't properly vent air while you're adding fuel. This causes the gas pump to keep clicking off, making it difficult to fill the tank. Excess pressure when removing the gas cap. Another symptom is high pressure buildup inside the gas tank. If you hear a big whoosh or hissing sound when removing the gas cap, that's a clue that the vent valve isn't letting air escape and pressure is building up where it shouldn't. Failed emissions test. A bad vent valve can also cause your vehicle to fail an emissions test since the EVAP system is no longer working properly to contain and recycle fuel vapors. How to troubleshoot a bad EVAP vent valve. So, how do you determine if the EVAP canister vent valve has failed and how do you troubleshoot it? Essentially, when the vent valve fails, it can either get stuck open or closed. You'll need to run some tests to check if it's functioning properly or if it's stuck in one of these positions. The first step, if possible, is to scan for any OBD2 codes. This can help pinpoint the issue because certain codes are tied to vent valve problems. For instance, if the valve is stuck open, you might get a P0455 code, which indicates a large leak detected in the evaporative emission system. You might also see a P0449 code, which refers to an evaporative emission system vent valve solenoid circuit. So, scanning for codes is a great first step as it will direct you to what's causing the issue. Next, you'll want to test the vent valve to see if it's opening or closing properly. There are a few ways to go about this. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, many of them allow you to enable and disable the vent valve directly. You'll be able to hear it click when it opens or closes. Another approach is to remove the vent valve from the vehicle and apply power to it manually to see if it responds correctly. If you suspect the vent valve is stuck open, a common method is to use a smoke test. For this, you can use a smoke machine to inject smoke into the EVAP system. Wherever the smoke escapes, there's a leak. If you see smoke coming out of the vent valve, that's a clear sign it's stuck open. This is a reliable way to test its functionality. Another thing to check is the wiring for any damage or issues. Any damage to the wiring or a blown fuse can cause symptoms similar to a bad vent valve. Additionally, the hoses or ports connected to the vent valve can become clogged, 
especially if the vehicle has been driven through mud or debris. When these hoses or ports get clogged, they can create the same symptoms as a valve that's stuck shut. So if the vehicle has been through muddy conditions, it's a good idea to inspect these areas for any blockages or debris that could be causing the issue. Another thing to watch for is when the charcoal canister gets old and starts to clog up. Inside the canister are small carbon pellets that absorb gas vapors, but over time, these pellets can become saturated and obstruct the flow of vapors. When this happens, it can cause symptoms similar to a vent valve being stuck shut. So, if you test the vent valve and it opens and closes properly, but you're still getting vent valve-related codes, it could be a sign that the charcoal canister is clogged and needs replacing. And that's pretty much it. If you have anything to add, feel free to comment below. If this video was helpful, please like, subscribe to the channel, and have a great day.